And that's it. I'm really excited, Nero. Thank you for your presence, but I'm talking to the camera right now. Yeah, you can see your tail here. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Bloodborne. I'm Obix, and in this episode, we are finishing the game, finally. We are gonna beat the final three bosses. We are gonna get all endings, get the last weapons that we need, unlock all trophies, including the platinum, and we're gonna be done. I am really excited about it. There's not much else to talk about, so let's just get right into it. It's so weird to be back here. Also, um, I checked the platinum guide and there isn't anything else for me to pick up. I just have to beat the bosses and I believe when I beat German, I'll get um, a badge to buy his weapon, if I'm not mistaken. And that's the last weapon that I gotta get to get the trophy related to the weapons. So that's what I'm gonna do. I am just gonna go straight for the bosses. There's no need for me to explore and waste time beating the enemies around here. I'll just unlock the shortcuts. And yeah, straight for the bosses. What's up, Yarnum? I know your child is up there. Part of me wants to hit her, because she took a pretty long time to beat. But part of me is like, her story is so sad. Everyone's story in this game is really sad, dude. There's no one with a happy ending here. Alright everyone, it's time to get right into the first boss uh, and it's really funny how it's been so long since I've been to the main game and now that I come back to it I'm just gonna beat the ass of every single boss left but I've already beat the hardest boss in the game, Orphan of course and I even use beast blood pellets against it so I feel like if I can beat that one I can beat any boss and if I could beat that one with beast blood pellets I can use beast blood pellets against any enemy so I'm using the exact same setup, the rune to get more time to transform or to use the, the pellets. I'm gonna use the pellets as well against the against Margo, German, Moon Presence, against every boss. Margo especially, it's such an easy boss, the beast blood pellets will just make it much quicker. And yeah, let's just see how this goes. I'm certain that I'll beat Margo in less than 5 attempts. German and Moon Presence, I'm not so certain. I think they are gonna be quick as well. I'm just not sure how quick. Let's do this. Oh, there's a cutscene, okay. Let's go. Oh! Fuck. I can't believe I died like that. I was really confident that I was gonna kill it first try. <laughs> so stupid, dude. <laughs> Alright. Let's do this properly, shall we? Come on. Come on. I said I would beat you in five attempts or less, so... Let's do this. Already? What? I've barely done it, any damage to you. What do you mean already? Shit. Sucks. I thought this only started when I got to like half of its health or something. Come on. I was just using the item. I'm not counting this one, I'm sorry, I legit just got in the arena.
There we go. There we go. Nice. Exactly as I expected. Amazing. Nightmare slain. Let's go. <laughs> My heart is racing a bit, actually. <laughs> I know. I don't know why. <laughs> I think part of me was afraid that I was not going to meet my expectation. Great. So yeah, I died. I, I beat the wet nurse in four attempts. If you count that stupid one that I just entered and died, then it was five. So it was exactly as I expected. Oh, that's awesome. Now I'll go back, refill a bit, and then... It's time to head to Garman. Oh yeah, and by the way, I'm gonna face Garman twice. <laughs> because of the two endings. I have to face Garman for the ending where I become his replacement and for the ending that I beat Moon Presence. So that's gonna be fun. Alright everyone, I already did a hard save on a stick so that I can do all endings. Let's go for the first one and just accept our fate which is the chillest one because i don't have to fight anyone and then we'll go for garman's throat good hunter you've done well farewell the coolest cutscene or one of the coolest cutscenes in the game this and the uh, moon presence appearance back to back are some of the best cutscenes in this game. Just the visual poetry of this scene of cutting my neck is amazing. The, f the way that just... Oh, it's beautiful. The way the sound cuts is awesome. So beautiful, this cutscene. It's so wild to be watching the cutscenes of the ending of the game. To be watching the endings. It's so wild, we've come so far, dude. I can't believe I'm beating this game. In Blood Level 4. Wow. This feels like such a dream come true, I can't believe I'm doing it. Only two bosses left. Farewell, good hunter. May you find your worth in the waking world. I totally forgot about this. The way that this cutscene totally changes the meaning of those words is amazing. They totally get a new meaning. Wow. Alright. Time for ending two. First time of me beating Garmin's ass. I can't believe I have to face the same boss twice, dude. That's really... If I wish there was a way for me to like... Save after I beat him. And have a space where I can consume the umbilical cords. But I don't think that is possible. Because the cutscene for Moon Presence starts immediately right after. And I don't want to risk replacing the file on the... On the stick and then... Fuck up. <laughs> dear, oh dear, what was it? The hunt, the blood, or the horrible dream? Oh, it doesn't matter. comes down to the hunter's helper to clean up after these sorts of messes. Tonight, Gammon joins the hunt.
such an epic line. Fuck off, German. I just started. <laughs> oh! Again. Alright, let's figure out the timings first. Let's use the beast blood pellet later. Oh! Motherfucker. Motherfucker! Ah, it was a double attack, okay. This one, I, I think I gotta get away when he does this one. When he prepares the skite, even if I don't know if it's the faster attack or the longer attack, I should get away, I think. Oh shit. It's pretty funny how I immediately forgot about the words that I just said. I got into the fight saying, okay, let's remember to dodge again. But this is a boss that feels so easy and calls for me to be aggressive. It's hard to try to hold back. Oh! Fucker. Okay, I was cocky. I wanted to get health back. Oh! I thought I was gonna dodge through, the sh through his shot. Damn. That went really well though. That went really well. In 13 attempts. Okay. Alright everyone. This is not my first attempt, do not be surprised that there is no fog wall here. The reason for it is because I did a hard save on a USB stick so that I can go back to the other endings. But also this way I don't have to farm inside for the beast blood pellets or echoes for the fire paper. So yeah, makes my life easier. Yeah, I cannot figure that. I want to learn this one. I really want to figure out this one, the slower sky. It's gonna take a while, but I really want to do it. Getting away is the easy way, but I feel like if I learn how to do it, or maybe if I get behind him, I can parry him. Something I could try as well. Yeah, it's really slow though. It is really slow. I'm trying to understand because he slowly rotates the scythe and I think at some point he does a flick and then he attacks. But I haven't figured it out yet. I think that's what he does. Yeah, and then he does this slower one. I believe he does the slower one. The, the slower. The <laughs> that was a mistake. What the fuck? I, I didn't want to attack. But I believe he does the faster one when I'm closer. Actually, no, I think, I think I've been hit with a slower one when I was close as well. I really want to learn the difference exactly between these two. Does it turn the scythe more when it's a slower one? Is what I want to understand. Yeah, okay, I figured it out. If he's gonna do the fast one, he just pulls the scythe up and immediately attacks. If it's the slow one, he starts rotating. Now the problem is, I understood visually the difference between the quick and the slow scythe attack. The problem is... How can I tell... Because, like, they both start similarly, it's just the way they stop, but how can I tell in time? I thought I was far away enough. Be free. <laughs> I thought I was far away enough. <gasps> no. Oh, dude, come on. That was really good, though. And you know why? Because I was slower. I didn't rush. Am I gonna do it again? Who knows? Let's see. Why? This... Like, sometimes he pulls the scythe and does one attack, sometimes he pulls the scythe and does this slow one. 
I also haven't figured out the delay on that one. Again, dude. It's so tricky because sometimes he pulls the skite and does a fast attack. And sometimes he pulls the skite and does this. And one is fast, one is slow. Having the same initial trigger and having to mid chain realize what attack is doing is wild. You can one shot me with a fucking pistol shot. I don't know why. Why can I dodge the first attack but not the second one? Motherfucker, just because of one wrong dodge. Bro. I was legit about to heal. You saw that, right? Do you see how well I was doing? Nearly half of his health without using a single blood vial. And what does he do? Oh, you're there. Pew! Just... Why not? The same fucking shit. I should stop doing this. When he's doing this chain, there's no reason for me to attack midway. He hit me. I never got hit before with this one. I was doing really well, dude. Come on. I was doing so well. My heart started racing because I was confident on this one. Oh, dude, come on.
the hell? No, 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 no! Shit, you can still go back to that phase, I don't like that. Oh my god, I was about to die, dude. Okay. 70 attempts. This was attempt 70. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Now I gotta do this again. <laughs> I gotta do this again, dude. <sighs> okay, I'll just skip this cutscene because I gotta repeat it anyway. <sighs> I can't believe I gotta do this. Yeah, and I skipped the cutscene where I show up in the chair. I totally forgot the ending of the cutscene. But uh, let's get back. Let's get the safe back and <laughs> Good. kill German again. <laughs> Fucking hell, dude. All right, we're back. And now it's time to eat these delicious third of the cords. chords. One. Two, three. I was wondering if I should hard save again. I think I will. I'll just trigger the fight. Make my life easier. All right. So now that I ate the umbilical cords and I already triggered Gurman's fight, I'm gonna do another hard save and then I gotta face him again and the moon presence. Alright, alright, I did it. 
I beat Kerman again. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Imagine that now I failed to eat the umbilical cords and I had to fight German again. I would lose my shit. Oh, bro. Go. I got all weapons. And I got the trophy. Yes. I got the fucking platinum, my dude. Yeah, because I don't know if you guys remember, but as I said, I had some fun before and I leveled up my character and I went around killing some bosses. So I already killed the final bosses and I got the trophy of the last ending of killing Moon Presence. So this was the last trophy that I needed, the one of the weapons. I'm really happy, dude. I am really happy that I did it. Now I just have one boss left and I can shelve the game. I'll just save and then I'll be back. Alright, everyone. Let's try the Moon Presence. Oh, I can't heal. I couldn't heal. Shit. Third try, my dude. Third try. I fucking did it. I did it. Let's become a slug, everyone. Let's become a slug together. I fucking did it, dude. What? Are you cold? Good hunter. Dude, I cannot express how happy this makes me. Hello everyone, unfortunately I'll have to make a cut here because the audio in this section got really messed up due to the mic placement, it was clicking too much, I could not stand listening to it so I'm not gonna force you to do it either. But basically what I was saying is, I am really happy that I finally beat this series because this feels like a dream come true. I've had the idea of creating the YouTube channel for a long time, since my teens. Um, I grew up playing PS2 and I loved it, I played so much to find my whole existence, I played God of War non-stop. And then, when I finally got to the time that I played Bloodborne and the PS5 came out, the plan started revealing itself. Something that was 
sort of a dream but not like a, a real idea that I wanted to pursue suddenly became an actual thing that I wanted to do and I just knew it Bloodborne was going to be the first game that I was going to play because I loved it so much and I was going to get the PS5 to make it happen and so I did and so you people understand the commitment that I had I bought both the game and the console on May of 2023 we are now in June of 2024. It's been over a year since I had these fuckers in my shell, in my inventory, basically. And I took half a year to make the channel work, because uh, I only created the channel in September and I started recording in October. Because it took me a while to make the setup work. I had to buy some stuff online, like some cables, a hub, whatever. But I mostly made this work with what I had. My phone is my camera, for example. So it took a while to search online how to make my camera, t my phone turned into a camera, how to make all the things work. And as time went by, I had to change more and more things. I started tweaking the audio, tweaking the camera quality. This was all an experiment. You, like if you go back and you look to the first episode, it's trash, <laughs> okay? There's a big difference to this one. So yeah, it was a constant development, a constant learning curve. And I'm really happy that I finally did it because Blood level 4 was hard as hell, dude. It, I had so many times that I thought I was gonna stop it. And then we got to Orphan of Cause, that fucker was giving me anxiety, but I was like, I'm already at the end of the game, there's no turning back now. And I actually did it. And now, I beat the final bosses of the game. And not only the bosses, I got every trophy, I got the platinum. And I beat every single boss in the game. And I cannot express how proud I am of that. Because I can literally brag about it if I want to, like, it's such an accomplishment. Because it was such a challenge. And yeah, like, now that I finally beat the first series of the channel, I'm gonna take a break. The next game that I'm gonna play is a very chill one, it's a point-and-click game that I played long ago. And then, after I play that game, which I'm also gonna upload to the channel, Submachine, I'm gonna play God of War and Dark Souls, back-to-back, -back. I'm gonna play them in parallel. But I'm gonna take a while before I start uploading those recordings. My goal was to have always three episodes ready to publish. To be always three episodes ahead. Because if anything happens, if I, have, uh, if I get sick, if I cannot make it to the recording in time, whatever, I always have those episodes scheduled and then I can make up for it on a day off or something. Unfortunately, I could not make it happen with Bloodborne. I had moments that I didn't feel like playing because of personal reasons. I had moments that I got sick, whatever. And so there were times that I spent like two months without uploading an episode and if any of you watched the whole series I am really sorry and I appreciate your patience so much for sticking around and waiting for the episodes I want you guys to know like if I really like a game if I'm really passionate about it and interested about it I'm not gonna give up so if there's any type of delay on the episodes I'm really sorry but the episodes will come I don't want to repeat the same mistakes on the next games so I'm gonna try to record some episodes beforehand, so the episodes won't be live right away. Ah, and also, now that Bloodborne is done, um, it is done but not fully done, because there will be some bonus episodes coming up. I really want to go back to the game, level up my character to level max, farm the gems that give me more damage near death, and all that shit, level up a, a cool weapon that I like, probably Chicago. And then beat the ass of every single boss. I want revenge, dude. I want revenge for the fucking hours and days that I spent on this shit. Dying to the same bosses, getting one shot with no mercy, okay? <laughs> so there's gonna be some bonus bosses with just a compilation of me killing the bosses again. There's no counter, there's no multiple tries against any boss. It's just the final attempt on each boss, just me having fun wiping their ass out. I appreciate every single one of you that has tuned in. If any of you has watched the whole series, thank you so much. And I do hope that this channel grows. Again, it's it's been a long dream of mine. I'm going to take it slow. I know it's going to take a while, but I do hope that the channel grows into something beautiful. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care.